hello. I am, I am Cody, and with me is... Alex. Uh, I'm not a speedrunner of this Itman game, but I'm a Itman speedrunner. And we got also Swedak, or Duck, that will act yeah. my yes. The category is going to be Silent Assassin, which in this instance means that I'm going to be playing on the highest difficulty and getting the hopefully getting the best possible score in every mission. And I'll be doing New Game Plus because it makes next to no difference, but I'll, I won't have to worry about my gun being inaccurate in one instance, in one mission. But with all that said, let's just uh, get this started. Uh, I'll set my equipment, <laughs> and mission starts when I skip the first cutscene. So let's go. Alright, so Hitman is a very simple game where you have a nice little sandbox area and a couple of people who need to die. This guy being the first one of them. He has just now seen me trespassing in an area I wasn't supposed to be in and he really, really wants to tell me that I should go somewhere else. And uh, he won't stop uh, trying to tell me until he has successfully caught up to me and by the time he catches up, chances are I will already be in an area where I'm allowed to be in. <laughs> won't stop him though. And he is very persistent, even though he can't climb, so he has to take some uh, alternative routes to catch up. He should be here momentarily. Yep, there he is. And... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice things happen when he can't quite keep up with me. And of course, the best way to kill somebody in this game... Oh, hang on, I would like to close this door. There we go. Hello, my friend. <laughs> What a terrible accident. And there's the second target. Whoops. <laughs> terrible accidents. Yeah, it happens a lot in this game. I don't know. That balcony especially, because there's a there's a small chance that uh, uh, I screw something up a tiny bit. Oh, hello, buddies. <laughs> I screw something up a tiny bit earlier on in the mission, and some guard follows me over there, and I have to push him over too. And if things go really wrong, somebody manages to fire a gun while I'm pushing them over the ledge. And then a lot of other people show up, and they all have to fall over the ledge. <laughs> but it's all good, because they're accidents, it's not suspicious, and I should still get Santa's assassin even when that happens. Yeah, remember, in this game, uh, accidents are a thing. <laughs> yeah, you are allowed to kill anyone with an accident, and uh, it's gonna be fine. I will uh, go through, like, the very basics of the rating system uh, once we get to the end screen of this mission, which is in about five seconds. There we go. And this is like the only thing that matters here. Uh, I am not allowed to kill anyone except the targets, unless it's an accident. Uh, I am not allowed to have any witnesses, but I'm allowed to kill witnesses with accidents. And I'm not allowed to have any bodies found, unless it's an accident. And then like 50 other rules that are less important, and we won't get into those. And Unless, uh, unless something bad happens. Anyway, second mission. We are joining a uh, opera rehearsal. And one of the targets is on stage, rehearsing, and the other one is uh, watching the show from uh, the best seat in the house. And he's also the worst target in the game. Anyway, explosion cancels the rehearsal, meaning that uh, the actor returns to his room and allows me to catch up nicely. Of course, I'm not allowed to be here, and everybody sees me running through, but that's fine. It's only trespassing, it's not crime. And if it's not a crime, they can't become witnesses. So while everybody's always telling me to get lost, and maybe occasionally shooting me a bit, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. And we were just searching for the toilets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the target over there, just went into his room. Let's see how he behaves when I, uh, when I go in. Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, he actually didn't die. There we go. <laughs> oh, don't worry about the body. Just. <laughs> it's fine. Get out of there. <laughs> yeah, there is a precise, uh, precise and goal that uh, can be used to actually throw the guy outside of, of the wall, and it will just fall down to his death. Yeah, there's, he just disappears into the void, but. Uh, it doesn't happen consistently. I thought I had a pretty good chance there, but uh, not quite. Not quite. Anyway, this guy doesn't like me not being in a restricted area anymore, so he tells this officer. 
who promptly ignores me because he knows I'm allowed to be here. Anyway, then I'm gonna throw this explosive on top of that plant. And because it's so close to the ceiling, uh, the explosion actually makes sound in the upper floor. And everybody over here just runs up there, leaving the second target completely unprotected. Off you go. Yeah, because if you're in an explosion, you need to go to that exact place. Yep. Everyone. That's pretty important. And that's the reason why I'm doing New Game Plus, so that shot would be less annoying. <laughs> because uh, normally you would have such a bad pistol at this point of the game that you would just miss from that distance. But hey, that was pretty good. Imagine having to aim in an assassin game. Yeah. There, there will be times when uh, it will look like I am not aiming at all. Like in this mission, I think. It's good to have you back. Because of course, I'll take the most stealthy weapon of all, the uh, unsilenced uh, SMG. Which we will use to shoot at a wall. But first we'll do the other stealthy thing, which is to just blow something up. Once again. And uh, let's see if this guy cooperates. Yes, he does. Excellent. He has a bit of a random path that uh, he can choose after hearing the explosion, but anyway, that explosion clears out this entire wing of the building. One more guy. And conveniently, as exiting, these guys open up all the locked doors for me. There we go, except that one, I suppose. And maybe maybe this one where the person I'm rescuing is. You. So, the goal of this mission is to rescue this agent by uh, making him fake death and then revive him later on. And uh, during this conversation, he also tells me that, hey, this is the guy you need to kill. And uh, then I get a phone call saying that, hey, there's also these other guys you could kill for extra bonus. And it's just always the same three guys, and who happens to be the main target is random. But it's completely irrelevant, because once I do this, this guy begins uh, getting carried over to the morgue, and that's on a timer. So I can just easily kill everyone. Which works out, because... Identity it's nice to have something to do while you wait. Rest of assignment. Splendid 47. It might and interest you to know the following. It's not gonna be uh, the cleanest route through this level, I think. Because, uh... Just came in. In typically I would want to use a disguise, which is a pretty core mechanic in this game. Which just allows you to go different places. But... I think we're ahead. gonna see disguises in this run, somewhere like Understood. in the second to last mission, maybe? Because I just like this suit. It looks nice. Also, the suit has the advantage of if somebody catches me doing something like trespassing or stealing stuff, which are not crimes, it's okay if I do them in my suit. But if I'm wearing something else, then it becomes a crime. Which makes perfect sense. Also, again, nice job this officer over here. Thank you for opening the locked door. I don't even have the key to that door, so... There's no other way through that. And of course, I'm not allowed to be in here, but fortunately... Come on, dude. <laughs> fortunately, there is a... Something we call a Jesus room, right here. Where people just forget I exist. All, all my crimes are forgiven. There we go, and that guy needs to go away. Yeah, look at that coin. Yeah. Yeah, coin uh, are really useful in this game. You can use them to, like... Attract people. And you can force them to like get stuck looking in directions. Anyway, now we'll get messy. Here's the SMG. There we go. And that hopefully fades. Uh, oh, that's not a good sign. All right. Uh, all right. We'll see what happens. Is the second target? He drowned. That's fine. Terrible accident. Uh, let me out, please. <laughs> okay, everybody's shooting at me, but this is still fine. Like said. I haven't done anything criminal. <laughs> yeah, no crimes. No crimes have happened, they just don't like me. They heard a gunshot and they assumed the worst. Okay, fine. They do assume the worst, but Yoink. we are uh, we are not still a criminal, so... But they still shoot at us. Yeah. Because, of course. Yeah, also that body you just saw over there, that was a uh, accident, so it's totally fine. And should still get sound assassin with this. Or... Well on pace, assuming nobody decides to come out here and shoot me while I'm doing actually illegal things. Anyway, a uh, donation probably here. Sure thing, we got Gunslinger Tuna sending in $147 for charity. And a comment says, what are you, an undertaker? 
Good luck on the run, Cotty. I've been enjoying your Hitman runs for years now. Your previous Blood Money Marathon runs are some of my favorites to rewatch. You're single handedly the reason that I can beat this game consistently on any difficulty, so I just wanted to say thank you. Now, get lost, Jumley. <laughs> thank you. All right, a new life. This is my favorite map in the entire series. And uh, my goal here is to make one particular guard look really stupid. All right, I'm going to enter through the front door, which has two guards. The first one I'm going to distract by throwing a syringe over there. And he's going to freak out and go pick it up. Or not. Let's try that again. <laughs> that throw is uh, somewhat precise. You need to, uh, need to have it like land in a specific area so that a camera sees it and... Uh, Somebody can communicate to that front door guard that, hey, go pick that up. Yeah, there you go. And then this other guard is really smart. No visitors today, sir. Yeah, good job. No visitors today. We're not visiting, we are just searching for the yeah. toilet. And then I'm going to place an explosive in the garage and get out. I just wanted to open the garage door, really. And then I'm going to go back in. I said no, no visitors. <laughs> And he's still completely clueless that, that I'm, I've gone in twice. Anyway, this is a classic. Draw a coin over there. And... Whoops. Terrible accident. Yeah, the coin just destroys the skylight and... Uh, you, can, you can do like... 10 people with that accident quite easily. It's just a bit inconvenient if I want to actually go fast. Alright, there's the actual target. Now he's gonna run after me because I'm not allowed to be here. He really needs to tell us yeah. that we are not allowed here. And if all goes to plan, he's gonna follow me all the way outside the building. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Alright, this is looking good. Get over here. Also, that explosion created some chaos which made a reinforcement show up. There we go. <laughs> terrible, terrible accident. Yeah. The, the FBI is uh, very capable. Just immediately leave the body there. <laughs> All right, that was pretty smooth. <laughs> Not the fastest route you can do in that level, but come on. <laughs> Gotta do that. Hello, 47. All right, Murder of Crows. This one has a bit of a random element to it, but before we get to that, I'll draw a coin at the corner to distract everybody in the bar, then shoot the ground. Well, nobody's looking. Okay, so one of the targets can be in a random location, or is in a random location. And I have already actually spotted where the target is, because I was looking uh, looking for it as I exited that building. And there's the second target over there. He's gonna see me extend my fiber wire there and get really mad. Now, she's chasing me with her silenced pistol. Meanwhile, this guy's carrying a briefcase I have to steal. Oh, and that's rude. He got shot. Gonna be trouble. There we go. And there's the final target. There we go. Uh, please don't shoot me yet. Hang on a second. Okay, now, so now this guy is a uh, witness. And I can make the other target shoot him. There we go. <laughs> Terrible accidents. Or I would say that was a full on homicide. <laughs> I mean, you're not responsible for it, so it was an accident. Yeah. Not my fault, yeah. <laughs> Wrong place, wrong time. All right. And we got out of there pretty smoothly. Because that top floor over there can be a huge mess. Because uh, depending on how uh, uh, the female target reacts and how the guard upstairs reacts, a lot of things can go very wrong. And it can lead to a lot of accidents of the balconies over there. Also, right there, I peeked through a keyhole to bait one of the guards. Uh, uh, to follow me to the keyhole. Which uh, allowed me to enter this place. Because he wasn't looking. Normally I'm not allowed to come in here at all. Because my suit doesn't match the dress code. Also, this yeah. chef. Get out. Leave. I need to pick a lock here. And I need you to leave. Because picking a lock is actually illegal. Someone get this guy. Thank you. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Alright. Oh, where is... Oh, there he is. Goodbye. And all of the tar targets are dead. We have the optional briefcase. 
and the exit is right there. All right, that was pretty smooth as well. And Silent Assassin. Thank you, thank you. Hello, All right, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Alright, first I need to draw a coin to distract everybody here. Most importantly, that guy. Uh, look at the coin. Not me. Yeah, keep facing that way. Alright. Then I'm gonna shoot at that... Oh, somebody saw that. There's a small chance that somebody doesn't uh, react to my coin. Which means that I'll just have to give it another go. There we go. Everybody, eyes on the money. Ignore me. I got, I got a... Jacuzzi to shoot. There we go. And oh, that's the first target. You He's really are a Apache Crusher. <laughs> oh, come on. Elevator, please. Oh. Well, I, I just screwed up that menuing really hard, but fortunately, someone upstairs called the elevator up, so. <laughs> <laughs> Automated elevators. <laughs> Calculated. I meant to do that. Anyway, to get to the second target, um, we need to get to an upper floor, which is completely off limits to all guests. And that's why we have the SMG. Because it's really handy for sneaking through areas. There we go, cause some panic. Hello, guards. Don't mind me. I'll be just taking this elevator really quick. Oh my god, this mouse wheel. <laughs> Okay, I'll have to be kind of clean here, so I'll just knock out maybe uh, maybe one guard if I can find him. Well, didn't see him yet. Anyway, here's the first, oh, second target rather. And his dog, which <gasps> unfortunately I have to kill. <laughs> Sorry. Because the dog was a witness, you had to kill him? Seriously? Yeah, the dog That's knew too sad. much. No fella. He could have uh, testified against me in court. Also, he, he would have alerted somebody of the body. Excuse me, sir, could you look this way? Hey, Thank you. you got no I'll, I'll just steal here. this. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll make a daring exit. There are two exits in this level. There's a helicopter, which is the normal exit that everybody uses, but I don't want to do that, because it's kind of standard. So instead, I'll do something a bit unusual when somebody opens this door for me. Thank you. And I'll exit with the boat that I started at. But the boat is kind of far away, so I'll have to do some uh, some trickery to get there. There we go. 720. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did actually die right there, but because I hit the exit trigger like milliseconds before okay. dying, it's all good. All right, this is one of my favorite levels to run because I, I can't have a good route for this. Because <laughs> uh, there are just some uh, cycle-based things in this level that I, I can't really prepare for. Also, yeah, that was a target right there. <laughs> Terrible accident. Yeah, like once I get to the final section of this level, I just have to look at how things, how things look and figure it out from there on the spot. And I just find it really fun to improvise in this game. Okay. I need to shoot this guy in the ass because it makes less sound. If I shoot him in the head, there's a high chance that somebody goes in that room and investigates it. That's like a strange tradition in Hitman games where all of the classics have one point where it's optimal to shoot somebody in the ass, as opposed to getting a clean headshot. All right, now we're approaching this uh, final area of the level where I'll just have to wing it and see what happens. First target is uh, kind of a nice spot. Well, if I could aim, that would be a nice spot. Uh, this is looking a bit more awkward. I'll leave him for last. Uh, Imagine guy. having to aim in an yeah. assassin game. Yeah, that's why we have like the maximum capacity. Uh... Okay. Okay, now I do not like this guy. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Just take a nap. Oh no. Oh no, I I actually have to pick the lock like a commoner. Yeah, in this game, the best way to open doors is just to wait for someone to open the door for you. 
Well, that guy wasn't too smart. Wait, and... Hello. Nobody heard that. <laughs> and we yeah. should be good. Yeah, all right. Just had to double check I actually killed everyone. That was quite messy, but we'll do. Also, yeah, I died again. That's fine. <laughs> I guess it was also an accident. Yeah. I had a little accident there. All right, till death it was part. Hello, 47. Classic redneck wedding with uh, two targets. We gotta kill uh, the groom and the bride's dad. And this level is very, very buggy compared to most. You're technically allowed to have a gun out in here and nobody cares because everybody has guns. I mean, welcome to the US. Yeah. Okay, Kona. Problem is that if anybody sees you with a gun, they still become witnesses. So, going to distract this trigger-happy guard over there. And as a result of the weird witness gun system in this level, uh, you can also get, like, witnessed multiple seconds after committing a crime, which can be a problem, which is why I'm not gonna commit many crimes other than shooting that lock and strangling this fella over here. Hello. Yoink. <laughs> yeah, the ga game doesn't really like it when you're killing NPCs wh while they're, like, sitting down or doing yeah, any sort of... Yeah, Warrior um, ragdolls are really, really great in this game, as you can see. Yeah, it's like... Uh, it's kind of clever that they made it so that if there's not enough room for the fiberware animation, it kind of just skips the animation and kills the target. That's like, that's like a next snap thing. But sometimes you get that. <laughs> anyway, I have uh, rigged that chandelier with a mine, so the second target should be coming in soon. I don't like the fact that the door is open. I hope I timed that right. Yeah, we're good. Oh my god, terrible ooh, ooh. accident. That hurt. <laughs> Also, yeah, I wasn't allowed to exit that place. I was allowed to be there, or... I wasn't allowed to be there, but they didn't really mind. But as soon as I exit the place, hell breaks loose and, uh... Oh, there you leave the place you weren't supposed to be in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a shame. Wow, the guards are shooting civilians at this point. <laughs> but it's fine. They didn't see me do anything, so... Silent Assassin. <laughs> All right, House of Guards, my absolute favorite level in the Welcome game. Because it's uh, about six minutes long, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. I'm gonna place an explosive over there. We're gonna blow up in about five minutes. It'll just chill there for now. But yeah, three targets, two of whom haven't even spawned on the map yet. So it's gonna be a lot of waiting. The first target, fortunately, is already here, so we can do something while we wait. And uh, I'm just gonna... Bait him into the women's bathroom because nobody uses it ever. And uh, dump his body there. Well, while we are waiting, maybe we have some time for donations. Absolutely. That would be amazing. We have $25 from Mono and Tumbra saying, Wait, this bald guy in, in the out if place outfit looks oddly suspicious. Oh, shiny coin. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing, but here's all the money back that you lost all over the levels. <laughs> <laughs> And we nice also have a $20 donation from Agent 47 himself saying, I'm not really a battler, but why be a battler when you can throw magic homing briefcases at people? <laughs> and one thing's for sure, there will be no final rumble today. This goes to the Crash 2-player controller incentive and good luck with the run, Cody. Thank you. I'm sorry to report that the briefcase are not in this game. Because, I mean, this game doesn't have always online connections, so it <laughs> do can't have the uh, nice briefcases. Yeah. I mean, I will be picking up a briefcase very sh very soon, but I won't be throwing it, sadly. Not at anybody, anyway. Alright. Now, let's see, has the second target spawned yet? Yes, he has. He's gonna take a while, but uh, we're gonna kill him in that elevator. <laughs> and uh, after that, we'll wait some more for the third target to spawn. <laughs> Would it be uh, like a high-level kill? Because it's uh, in, in the elevator. I live all. The elevator is going down by the time I kill him. Oh. So, it's, uh, we'll see how high up we are. Wait, there he is. Did I already call the elevator now? I believe I did. Yes, I did. And gotta have the coin ready for this particular kill. It's absolutely essential. 
Yes, don't stop walking. Get in here. There's room for both of us. Alright. Now he's gonna go to the 8th floor. I'm just gonna chill with him. And have him enjoy my coin. Yeah? It's a good coin. Alright, we're at the 8th floor. But he's not getting up because he's mesmerized by the coin. And oh, oh no! <laughs> he fell down the elevator. Yeah. Because terrible, <laughs> terrible accident. Yeah, because the elevator was going down, he fell such a long distance that he died. Oh God, what happened? Uh, what happened? <laughs> so yeah, everyone, don't fall into the elevator. It's yeah. really dangerous. It's okay if it's going up. But yeah, <laughs> it's okay if it's going up. If it's going down, you're in really bad trouble. Yeah, and now we're gonna wait some more for uh, for the final target, and uh, I guess uh, I can explain the the one trick, unless you count the previous elevator thingy as a trick. But there's a something called a limo boost in this level, where a bunch of limousines drive through here, and you can just make them drive a bit faster by getting in their way. And uh, because of that, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Uh, because of the limo boosting, you can kind of manipulate uh, the spawn of the last target. And because you can manipulate the spawn, you can kill him a bit sooner than you should and uh, hide his body inside a limo. There we go. Now I block that limo and it's going to drive really fast. And yeah, there we go. Excellent. But that's not the limo we're waiting for. I just saved like two seconds by boosting that limo like that. It doesn't really feel like much when the level is six minutes long. <laughs> But anyway, the final target is going to show up, then I'm going to boost his limo and kill him with an explosion so that he's still inside the limo and his body is going to get stuck under the limo and nobody can ever find it. That is, if everything goes to plan. And uh, this is supposed to be like 100% consistent. And um, yeah, let's not talk about my, <laughs> my recent track record with this. Everything is fine. It's like, out of the last five, it's worked once. <laughs> but out of the last one, it's worked once, so <laughs> we'll go with that stat instead. But yeah, also, while this is uh, going on with all this waiting, uh, good time for shoutouts, because I never remember to give any shoutouts to other community people uh, during my runs. So I believe it was uh, Alpha Brother who discovered the limo boosting, and uh, also shout out, shout out to uh, Ag Agent uh, uh, is it 046. I, sorry if I misremember the numbers. <laughs> and I think there is also Ace that is oh, yeah. uh, having some work on the on the tech of the game. Uh, the limo boosting is it like uh, I think it's a recent trick. Yeah, it is. It's or I don't know how recent it is because I'm yeah. old and washed up. All right, that's the distraction explosion and that's the real explosion. Did it kill the target? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Um. We're improvising. <laughs> We don't want to be improvising in this level. <laughs> um, we'll get a terrible accident going on and everything will oh, be fine. There's not going to be an accident, but somebody's going to pull it to the head. <laughs> Let's say it is an accident. An accident of bullet in the head. Oh yeah, she's still panicking about the explosion. Don't, don't you guys worry about it. Um, the reason why I don't like this level to have... Uh, Improvising like this is because it's a six minute level and improvising turns into a seven minute level. <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Target. No, oh, no. Don't mind me. It was That was for your guards. Just keep going. Keep going. All right. Now these guys. No, 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 no. Yeah, eyes on the money. They really do love the coins. They are really shiny and all, like... Alright, chances of this working, by the way, are about 10%. <laughs> may or may not have pulled that number out of nowhere just now. What was that? I don't know what that was, but... <laughs> oh, there is one witness. <laughs> no one has to know! Yeah... This was True. totally silent assassin. Yeah, totally silent. <laughs> oh, look! A duck! Hey, there's a dog! And a cat, too! Oh. 
There we go. No. Totally so, fine. Yeah, no one sees the... It's over 40. So, so far, I've gotten Silent Assassin on every mission, which is unheard of in a Blood Money Marathon. Yeah, totally a 100% <laughs> valid run. Yeah, I mean, typically, I think every marathon has, like, two You're missions lost. that go wrong. So, some small mishaps are to be expected. Anyway, uh, gunshots to distract absolutely everybody in this parking garage. Most important, the people guarding the places I'm not supposed to go into. Like, oh, this... Ah, this... Mouse wheel. <laughs> Fortunately, unfortunately, there's nobody to call this elevator up for me. I'll actually have to successfully do some menuing myself. Yeah, I've been having no one uh, being able to call the elevator for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, upstairs, there's two targets, and I need to use a computer as an optional objective. But I don't really want to navigate this area without a disguise, so I'm going to grab one right as this elevator stops. There we go. Hello, sir. No trespassing, fella. Get out of here. He's still alive because the elevator wasn't moving. Don't worry about it. Hey, actually saved. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. There's a guard who's patrolling here normally. We'll throw a syringe for him to pick up. Well, that was a bad throw. Uh, it's going to be fine. Anyway, you can see on the map that there's another target over here behind this door in front of me. And I'm going to shoot him through the door with a particular setup. Uh, like there and I shot him in the leg and because I shot him in the leg he magically knows that he was shot from here even though the bullet was shot from the hallway over there so yep there he goes hello he doesn't know I shot him he just knows where I went and that bullet came from my gun and I'm gonna take his outfit because it gives me access to absolutely everywhere on the map and this guy needs to go away Get some money all right and the second target in this map is that singer over there. I'm gonna shoot her right there, on stage, in front of everybody. Wait for the door to close. There we go. And now, uh, there's like some weird stuff going on with line of sights with NPCs, so only people who can see that there's a body on stage are some, like, maybe a couple of particular NPCs or civilians over there. But while I'm going uh, uh, down with this elevator, uh, the civilian AI in that area gets disabled, and they can, they can never find the body. Or the lore reason for that body not being found is that she's a terrible singer and they're okay with it. Alright, then we head to the basement where there's two more targets, and it seems like one of the targets is about to go do a pyro show, which means that she's gonna have an accident. Terrible accident. And the other target wants to have a duel with me. We're not going to have a duel with him. Not a fair one, anyway. Okay, that's the first one. Uh, all right, you, you go prepare for the duel. I'll be, I'll be there in a second. I'll need to push some buttons first. Oh, yeah, I can already hear the pyrotechnics going on. Still, We still have time to mess with it a bit. It's fine. And in the meantime, the other target should be getting close to, uh, close to the dueling arena and normally there's a cutscene when you enter the dueling arena with him but if I draw a coin here he's so mesmerized by the coin that he forgets to trigger the cutscene and I can also shoot him in the leg which baits him into this room again he's not blaming me but he'll come into this room and I can just safely fiber wire him I could just shoot him but he has such a good animation that I want to fiber wire him there we go Oh, and there's the other target. She's having fun. We'll sh soon get like a picture-in-picture -picture thing, showing what happens to her. And that is all the objectives effectively completed. Oh. Oh. Getting dusty here. Yeah. Shame. Happens all the time at that stage. Terrible accident. They should, <laughs> they should fix that, probably. Yeah. Alright, then I'll just get back, back my suit, because that's also required for Silent Assassin raiding. And these guys really don't like me. Ooh, that hurt. I mean... <laughs> oh, that hurt. You basically left the club without saying hi. Yeah. Anyway, that was clean. <laughs> and we are on to the final real mission of the game, which is uh, the White House. 
Listen up, 47. We're supposed to kill a uh, rival assassin and the vice president. But uh, in order to get there, we're going to need some disguises. Excuse me, officer. Sir? Sir? Hello. Uh, oh. Thank you for your outfit. Fortunately, nobody ever comes to this bathroom, so we can just dump that there. And don't worry, he's still also, alive. Yeah. In case you're wondering how the White House security works, it's uh, a single VH tape. Disabled. I could have also taken like a key card that gives me access to some places, but don't really need that. I have a gun. Don't worry about it, dude. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just needed to open the door, so we <laughs> use our pistol because, I mean, who doesn't open door with uh, with a pistol? All right, and I'm gonna head into the uh, vice president's office. Uh, let's see where is he? Okay, he's heading this way. He's gonna see me in this area where I'm not allowed to be in and obviously chase me, as they do, every time. Come on, and there we go, he's after me. And he's gonna follow me in this particular hallway, and this hallway shows how well White House has been built. So there's a, a special quality to this particular corner. Oh no, we're gonna have to kill a dog then. No, don't you dare. Oh, oh, where did the... Where, where does the dog... Oh god. <gasps> I, I missed. No, I think oh, you got it. I, I, no, you I, got it. I got it. Yeah, all right. You, it's good. you killed the dog. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the dog knew too much. <laughs> it's, it's great. I, I was more concerned about not seeing where the dog went than the body that just went through a wall. <laughs> anyway, another outfit upgrade. Joining the Secret Service. And... Now we're gonna do something that I, for a long time, thought was impossible. I'm gonna shoot the second target in the Oval Office uh, as there's an explosion going on. I'm holding down mouse one, so as soon as this cutscene ends, I'm buffering a gunshot. And conveniently, Crosshair is pointing at his head. So as soon as the cutscene ends, he dies and I fall over. shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to. Terrible, terrible accident. <laughs> and then I'm gonna fire the SMG over here, so everybody forgets about the explosion that just happened, and investigates the SMG gunshots instead. <laughs> Meaning that they will never find that body. I also have a bad feeling that something else may have gone wrong, just, just as I was entering the Oval Office, but uh, we won't talk about that yet. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Also, yeah, everybody's running out, out here panicking, but they won't mind this body. It's totally fine. They're, they're too busy freaking out to notice that. Now, all of the targets are dead. Nobody can find either of the bodies, even though they are not hidden in any way. All I need to do is get my suit back, and we'll be on our way. And it should be Silent Assassin. Don't, don't question that. Then we have time for a small donation. Oh, yeah, sure. Perfect. We got $50 from Seductive Spatula saying crazy with all these terrible accidents. Oh, no. Yeah, terrible accidents. Yeah, you can go for another one. Perfect. We also got $25 from Username Neil saying remind me to never jump in an elevator. <laughs> all right, we got the suit back and we're at the exit. Which, uh,. This was Silent Assassin, absolutely. Also, as I... Oh, you didn't oh. see that. <laughs> i never seen anything. Anyway, uh, final level. <laughs> and yeah, do remember, you you can't jump in an elevator if it's going down. Yeah. Remember, it's really important. Anyway, this is a shootout, this final mission. I'm actually intentionally going to die after shooting up you guys over here. And now I want to die, so I go into this last wind, wind kind of situation and I get infinite ammo. And if I get three headshots, there we go, I get a tiny bit of health back, and then I'm gonna shoot this wheelchair in the back. So he's gonna start chasing me, and... Also, you have to know something. <laughs> um, wheelchairs don't like stairs, it's like a natural enemy. Yeah, and also, uh, you have to know that the wheelchair is also a witness, so we need to yeah. kill it too. Yeah, 
Uh, we don't actually get a rating for this mission, but the wheelchair is a witness. So. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, yeah. terrible accident. That's the only way to kill the wheelchair. <laughs> It can fly like spectacularly right towards the camera, but it hasn't been happening lately, which is quite a shame. But I, I can take that sad falling down on the side as well. All right, yeah. now I gotta be careful because I have no HP left, and there are still two armed enemies in here, and I want to kill them without dying. Because if they manage to shoot me once, I'm dead. There we go. Last mission requires us to kill everyone in the um, in the level to yeah. complete it. Also, quite a bit time because that guy is the last target. And oh, oh. <laughs> time! <laughs> all right, that went. Pretty well. It was, I would say that uh, all of the levels that I had routed here were like 85% consistent and considering that percentage, I think this went exactly like it should have gone. <laughs> okay, totally sound assassin every mission. Yeah, of course. I mean, little accident happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> terrible, terrible accidents. But yeah, I, I'm very much a washed up has been when it comes to blood money and speedrunning in general. But the way I do blood money is that I just want to have fun. I want to do dumb dumb stuff. It's like I want stuff to be something that's fairly easy to replicate to anyone who is fairly familiar with the game. You don't have to be like like a pro to copy these routes. And I want the routes to be dumb. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And also I can tell you that uh, as of being a newer speedrunner to the Hitman community, uh, the community is pretty well uh, welcoming, so don't hesitate to uh, join us on Discord and ask for help. We will definitely help you to get speed on in, uh, any of the Hitman games. Yeah. But yeah, that was Blood Money. Hope you enjoyed it. I have nothing more to add, I suppose. And terrible accidents happen. Yeah. And watch out for the elevator that's going down. Yep. Hadi, thank you so much for that showcase of all the terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible accidents that can happen. Uh, we, before I let you go, though, it we broke. got $10 <laughs> from Nev Flynn saying, after the run, can I have 47's coin? <laughs> but with that, we are ready to go to intermission. We have Titanfall coming up next, so we will be taking a few minutes to get set up for that. And this is also the end of my hosting shift, but don't worry, you will hear my voice again by the end of the marathon. In the meantime, stand up and stretch. Make sure to stay hydrated. And we will, of course, be back with even more speedruns. Stay tuned. <laughs>